Good morning, guys. So it is a cloudy, muggy, rainy, gray, rainy, gray day here in Da Nang, Vietnam. We're starting our day off at a French bakery. There's French essence everywhere, and there's French bakeries um, basically every block. We did have some outdoor activities planned, but unfortunately, they got squandered. So instead, we're going to show you what you can do in Da Nang on a rainy day. This is the 3D Art Museum in Da Nang. It's an interactive museum, and there is huge paintings like the ones behind me here. Really excited to get in there and see what's going on. Hello. Two? It's a whole shoe. Shoes? Yeah. Oh. room so far having a great time just kind of going through each picture and putting our own scene to it it's been a lot of fun okay third room looks like underwater scenes The no shoes rule is good until you step in something wet. So we're done here. It looks like this was the fantasy room. We're moving on to the next and it looks exciting. Okay guys, so we just exited the 3D museum. Still a gloomy day out here. It is, but we had a blast. I really enjoyed it. I think you mentioned more than once that I was having too much fun. <laughs> Running around like a little girl. Well, it was kind of cool because we were the only, basically the only people in there. I think there was one more group of two other people. And so we basically got it all to ourselves. Next stop, Galena Mud Bath. Vietnam is known for its mudding apparently, something yes. I was not aware of. Spa, mudding, very popular. Never been mudding before. It sounds extremely interesting. And I guess I'm excited. Let's see what happens. I don't know. We'll see. Destination, Galena Mud Bath. Let's go. So it looks like we're mudding today. We get the hot mineral mud bath, mineral mud, rain tree shower, foot massage, body massage, jacuzzi, steam and sauna, and swimming pool. Never been mudding before, how about you? No, not at all, but I think it'll be fun. It is legit a tub of mud. We gotta shower first. Then we get into the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, it's creamy. Oh. <laughs> kind of like chocolate milk. Yeah. It's okay. nice and warm though. It's super warm. Oh. 
Oh, it feels so good. It does feel like chocolate milk or like a gravy. Oh, it's so warm though. Oh, it's nice. Oh, weird. Now, if you like kick or if you move your legs quick, it definitely feels like a like a milky, yeah, it's creamy. It's thicker. I feel like I'm in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> so. There's a thickness to it that you can tell. Super nice day. There are some maybe vitamins and minerals in the mud that help, I guess, clear your skin, um, rejuvenate your skin, along with the same minerals that help relieve aches and pains of your sore joints and muscles. feel about the mud specifically you know what I thought it was gonna be thicker like Lewis lit when he goes mudding and suits but uh, it was good I liked it I would definitely go again I thought it was a good experience and definitely a good day to do it definitely that does it here for our activities we're gonna go home clean up and then get ready for a very special dinner that we've been wanting to do since we arrived in Danae. We'll see you there. Yo guys! Just to update you, it is still pouring in Danae, Vietnam. Raining a lot. We're having the dinner of a lifetime here in Danae, Vietnam. If you have ever been, the at-table barbecue is very, very popular here in Vietnam. And that is what we're doing tonight. So they bring you your meat marinated however you wish and then you grill it up at your table. Corey and I decided that we were going to get this little package over here, and it's Sakura barbecue that comes with lamb thigh, beef bacon, ostrich filet, wild boar, chicken filet, and pork breast. That's a very large selection of meat. And they just took our plate off the grill, and it looks like we're gonna get this baby heated up. Okay, they just brought our plate of meat out. It looks all marinated and delicious, but our grill is not going yet. So, I guess we wait. He just came by and told us that this is the lamb. lamb. Bacon. Pork. But we're gonna go ahead and flip the lamb. Ooh, look at that. Alright, we're seeing a little color now. Sizzling away. Alex likes her bacon extra crispy. So we're leaving it on there a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and pull it. They gave you scissors. So you can cut up your meat. And we will go ahead and put on one of these, which we think is the ostrich filet. It's pretty dark. They also gave us some of the sauce over here. I think that's just extra of the marinade, but I'm gonna take a little. So the lamb just came off the grill. Now I'm gonna give this one a try first. Let's give it a go. Yeah. 
I think Alex is gonna like this one a lot. Off the grill taste, like even more than the bacon. Chicken giblet. You just get that nice juicy piece of meat. It's still really, really moist inside. And it kind of like melts in your mouth a little bit. Saving the best for last. So the absolute last bite. Ostrich. Awesome. I think I like it the best because it's the leanest. That was our Vietnam barbecue experience. What did you think? It was really cool. It was really cool. It was neat to just be grilling your own food and the variety of meat that we had I thought was, was pretty good too. What was your favorite piece? for sure. Yeah, the ostrich was very lean. It's very lean. And very muscular. <laughs> I go for the fattier pieces. Yeah. My favorite piece was the beef bacon. Bomb. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next episode.